Greetings, this is an overview of how to set up an existing van for carpet cleaning. What we have here is a 96 Isuzu box van, uh, 14 foot, which is what we're looking for. We did have to cut the side door in. That cost us about $1,200, so we'll just budget for that. Um, we, we probably could have gone without it, but the way we've been working this for the last 20 years, we've always gone out the side door, so we figured just to keep up with consistency, uh, we just decided to put that in. So let's take a look inside. Inside, pretty much like the, we try to keep somewhat uh, consistent with the other vans, but this is something that was interesting. It had a circuit panel in there with five circuits with 110 volt uh, plugs all the way around. I did find that kind of interesting, so I decided to go ahead and keep that in there and just uh, use that. So I found a great deal on a 2000 watt uh, converter and got a used battery so we put that all together and it works fine especially if you're at a customer's house working on a um, area rug it's great to pull out a fan and just go ahead and start drying where we don't have to work out extension cords do we use it a lot no do i recommend you spend the money not really it's just kind of handy when it's already here shelf shelf is what we already had simple double white shelf and so we went ahead and stocked it accordingly and we already had the ProCam Performer. It's a standard performer and it was in great shape. We simply stored it until we we're ready to build this uh, van. And we also had another single wide van, or excuse me, single wide shelf that we went ahead and put above the water tank. Now why did we put the water tank here? Well, we wanted to balance the, the load. If we put it uh, alongside this uh, machine like we see in a lot of vans, in this area here, we're going to lose a lot of cargo space, and we do need this van to carry couches and sofas just in case we need to carry more cargo. Uh, this has a lot more wide space. Once again, low speed RX-20, and we've, we've already had this. This came out of the van, that one of the vans that died, so we just hung onto the hose reel, and we've been pretty happy with the double stacked hose reel. It's not a ProChem one, which we really like, but uh, this one seems to fit the bill perfectly. And of course, we've already had shelves. We did go to Harbor Freight to pick up another cabinet. And we did pick this up. This was at a bargain supply home improvement type of store. So we just uh, painted the daylights out of it, put a workspace on top. This is a cutting board. So we put that on there. We've got our safe, trash can, and we keep rags, paperwork, and extra stuff in here. We've got our upholstery kit, stretcher, carpet repair toolbox, and of course we've got miscellaneous hoses. The nice thing about this is we can walk all the way around this machine. And so we've got uh, extra space, space for the hydroforce, and of course we can uh, got lots of space to work on it. So we like doing that. We can do a lot of the work ourselves. One thing we'll cover in another video is how we set this up for a very inexpensive type of pump to pull water out of the water well, out of the water tank, and feed the, the machine. Uh, those pumps are about 30, uh, I believe $37 at Harbor Freight, and we have made those work quite well, where they don't really burn out that much, and if we do, they're only 30 bucks, that beats $150. And they also have a rebuildable impeller, so stainless steel housing. Uh, they seem rock solid, we have, we have liked them so far. So looking from the back, that's pretty much it. Whenever we uh, were able to scrounge and hang on to shelves or any other kind of um, implements, we just hung on to them and stored them. And we found that we wanted to save some money in building our own van this time. And so, especially since we we're just coming out of a recession, we wanted to make sure to go ahead and do that. Side door view, open up the side doors and everything is pretty much ready to go. Got extra hoses if we need to. And of course we've got a rinse gun to rinse out our waste tank, courtesy hose. Uh, one thing that is fairly unique that we've decided to do was we installed a gas tank. That's to feed the performer. We simply went to Northern Tool. We found a stainless steel gas tank. We need to simply fill the, the gas up through here. And as always, it is on the same side as the diesel. So we decided to use kind of a floor covering that way so nobody's tripping over it if we have to walk in there and it's located right underneath. It's probably not the best setup in the world, 
but that's what was available, so we went ahead and used it. They didn't have polyester tanks available or rotor molded tanks available. Also, this is where we decided to route our pump out. Our pump out hose, we just simply take the cap off, attach the hose, and it is tucked real nicely right out of the waste tank, down through the floor, and right outside. And so that's it. That's how we set up an existing box fan for carpet cleaning. We tried to keep the price down. Uh, financials, we basically took a loan out for the bank for about $15,000. Uh, that covered, you know, and we didn't use all of that. We weren't sure what we were getting into. And so we bought the van for six, and we already had everything else. And, of course, the uh, the logo and all the vinyl was probably, I don't remember, usually they're around 900 or so. So I think it was probably around there. So I hope this uh, was helpful to you, and hopefully you've got some ideas. And, uh, of course, if you have any comments, feel free to uh, list those below.